The book is about Winston Churchill and how he and his family and his close inner circle actually went about surviving the German bombing campaign against London and, and, and Britain. This book has a very um, particular point of origin. Uh, my wife and I moved to New York City um, four or five years ago from Seattle. And as soon as I arrived, I had a kind of an epiphany about 9-11, about, about what it had, had to have been like for New Yorkers compared to what I experienced in Seattle. Now, I watched the whole uh, the, the day unfold in real time on CNN. But coming to New York, I realized how intensely different it had to have been for people here, not just because they heard the sirens, they saw the smoke, but also because of that sense of violation of their home city. And I started thinking, well, you know, what would that have been like in London? What would that have been like for, for Londoners who experienced, 50, in effect, 57 consecutive 9-11s and, and a series of, of escalating raids after that for that period of eight months? How do you cope? I was really trying to get a sense of what it was actually like to have endured the, the bombing of, of, of London and of, 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 of Britain on a daily basis. Like, what, what do you do when, for 57 consecutive nights, your, your home city is being bombed by the Germans? And when, for six months after that, at, at, at larger intervals, but with increasing aggression, you, you are bombed again until essentially May 10, 1941, a, a period of about eight months. The research was, a, was a, a, a actually quite, quite a, a challenge only because so much has been written about Winston Churchill over the years. And I had to make a decision that um, I was not going to actually try to read everything that's been written because that's kind of a fool's errand. I could spend 10 years trying to read and never actually read everything. So I decided just to read um, certain elements of the Churchill canon enough to understand the landscape and then to dive right into the, into the archives, which is, where, which is where I really feel very, very comfortable, very much at home, and where all the good stuff tends to lie. What I, what I came to realize is, is how much fun he could be to be around. He was, there is a frivolous side to Churchill's character that, that often does not come through in, in accounts and, and even, even films. One of my favorite scenes is where he is at the prime ministerial country home uh, checkers one night. He's wearing his blue siren suit and he's dressed in a gold silk dragon night dress. Um, and he's holding a man liquor rifle with a bayonet and he's doing bayonet drills to the strains of martial music played on a gramophone, much to the delight of his audience who were guests who were staying that night. <laughs> 